Alright, it's Trapper Twelve's Health and Fitness Certified Personal Trainer. Welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, everybody. I hope you are having a wonderful and fantastic day. Now, before we get into our body weight only exercises, I just want to say one thing, and that is to follow me on social media and subscribe for more content. Share this with your friends and family. Be greatly appreciated. All right, now that that ad is out of the way, let's dive straight into the exercises and we're gonna be targeting our, our biceps. However, there's not many bicep exercises we can do with our body weight. We have two or three that we can do and I'm gonna throw in a nice little bonus one at the end because everybody's gonna have this piece of equipment in their house. All right, so the first exercise that we're gonna take a look at is a single arm doorway bicep curl. Now it's kind of like the doorway row, however, we're not gonna be using our scapula to pull our body. We're gonna be using strictly our biceps. So it's gonna be a little bit different here, but the setup is going to be the same. So we're gonna wanna get down in this position here where I'm kind of in like a semi-squat position and I have one arm on my doorway. Now I'm just gripping it with my fingertips here. If you have a bigger door jam, go ahead, grab it with your whole hand, whatever feels most comfortable for you. And all I wanna do is row in using my biceps. So I'm gonna really try and stabilize my shoulder, my scapula, and try and not pull with any of my traps or rhomboids. I just really wanna focus on pulling with my bicep. We're gonna be in this hammer curl position as well. So it's gonna work our forearm a little bit and the brachioradialis. Now the closer your feet are to the door jam, the harder it's going to be because the lower to the ground you're going to be. The higher up off the ground you're gonna be, so if you were doing it straight leg, it would be a lot easier. If you're doing it from a full squat in a 90 degree leg angle, it's gonna be a lot harder to do. And that's pretty much it for the single arm doorway bicep curl. All right, it is on to exercise number two, which is gonna be our sitting resisted bicep leg curl. Yes, it's a mouthful, and yes, it's a little awkward. This is what it looks like. So I wanna be in this sit down position here. I'm gonna put my elbow onto my inner thigh or groin area or all the way over on your inner knee, whichever feels most comfortable for you and your arm positioning. All I'm gonna do is bring up my other leg, so my opposite leg. So if I'm working my left bicep, I'm gonna bring up my right leg. And I wanna grab my ankle in my hand and all I'm gonna do is just do a bicep curl with it and my leg is either gonna add resistance or just kind of have like a dead leg there if you wanna make it really easy. Now, to make this harder, like I said, you add resistance to it. So you press down with your leg into your hand, which is gonna cause more resistance for your bicep to go against. Now, unfortunately, with this exercise, you are gonna need a tiny bit of mobility to make sure that your leg can get up into the correct position. It is not the most fun of exercises to do, but it'll still give your bicep a workout and that is what we're looking for. All right, it is now exercise number three, which is going to be an isometric bicep curl. Well, what's an isometric bicep curl? It's pretty simple. All we're gonna do is curl something that we can't curl. We're moving against an immovable object. As you can see here, I'm using a dog blanket because I don't have a towel that is big enough. You can use a blanket, you can use a towel, a beach towel, uh, any type of rope, canvas, whatever it is that you can have laying on the ground that you can stand on or kneel on. So all I'm gonna do is get in position here and just simulate doing a bicep curl. However, I won't be able to move the towel because it is on the ground. Now, if you're very strong, you'll rip it and well, then just find something stronger. This is pretty much all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna fight this burn here. So you're gonna get a lot of lactic acid burn here. And all you're gonna do is just fight it for as long as you possibly can, and then drop back down, relax, and then start again. It's a very, very easy exercise to do, and it takes nothing at all. Now, if you are super duper strong, and you've torn all of your towels, blankets, ropes, canvas, leashes, whatever it is that you're using to pull against, you can do this exercise without any equipment. However, it's gonna be a little bit different because now we're gonna be working in our peak contraction. So all you're here to do is get into your flexing position here and we're gonna flex just like this. And you wanna hold this peak contraction for as long as you can. Now, it is very uncomfortable. You'll feel quite a bit of pain in there because you are pretty much putting your muscles to the max and trying to get past that max point. Right, these exercises are very good for finishers, and of course, you're gonna fry your biceps, like I said. And that is it for the isometric bicep curl. All right, I have one more exercise here for you. It's a little bit of a bonus one, because you are gonna need some equipment for this. However, it is household equipment, 
As you can see here, I have a tub of coconut oil, peanut butter, and a shopping bag. Now, all I'm gonna do is put this stuff into the shopping bag and then curl the shopping bag. This is gonna be a little bit awkward because we're no longer moving a fixed weight in our hand, but we're moving a bag which is gonna swing around and cause some instabilities. And we're gonna use that to our benefit to help strengthen up our stabilizing muscles. Now, if you do not have a shopping bag because you are from somewhere in the world that does not have shopping bags like this, I am using a lunch kit right here. Yes, it is a very big lunch kit. I eat a lot of food. Now, all you have to do is put a bunch of ingredients in there as well, or canned goods and or a big bag of flour or sugar or whatever you have in your pantry and just load it up to where you feel most comfortable where you can do a bicep curl and that's all you're gonna do. And that is pretty much it for a bicep curl with household items. All right, that is it for body weight only bicep. Thank you all for joining me and I hope you've learned something new today. Try it out if you don't have any weight equipment. Like I said, there's a bonus one on there so you can use your grocery bags or whatever you have lying around the house. If you guys did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe for more content, share this with your friends and family, be greatly appreciated, and remember to give it your maximum effort because you're stronger than you think.